So now we are just add the text fields to our login screen. So after this title, let's add some space of 20 at will be enough and then using our custom text field widget first we will add the email now we have to add a editing controller which simply means that uh, where the user when the user start typing that input we have to take so that it would we check using a text editing controller so let's define that here let's initialize it here basically not define we can initialize using say text editing controller text editing controller you can give it name as like email text editing controller text editing controller similarly for the password and now here we can say this one is for getting email input the level text for this will be email and icon data for this we want to be icons dot email outline and this is not a password we want the email to be visible so that's why we will pass this is obscure as false and yeah that's it for the email and then of course for the password the input we will tag inside password text editing controller then we will have password the icon will be lock underscore outlined this one is open the other one is just lock outline this one and as it is password for the password this text field will be so we will is obscure will be true that is convert the text to dotted form so now let's just check it out how it looks so the app is running now so here you can see this is our email text field this is our password text field well now we are going to add some margin to our email and password so that it looks beautiful for that purpose we will wrap first our email text field in a container first wrap with container and then we will add some width media query dot of context dot size dot width whatever now what we are doing here is that this thing is basically it will get the screen size okay and let's say some user may have a phone which have small screen size and some may have a phone which has a big screen so automatically it will set the text field according to the screen size so for example here for the width whatever the screen width is whatever the screen width is we will minus from it let's say 36 so if I show you so now you see like this so for example on this screen size it looks like this however if you have a small uh, I mean a phone which has a small screen size then it will adjust the width of this email text field according to the screen size whatever the screen size is it will just adjust itself according to that similarly uh, the same we can do for the password but first of all here if you want to give it some height so you can also do that for example height for this will be 50 let's see 
it will look like this if you want to increase the height that is height okay so let's give it 55 so 55 is this much it looks more professional now okay so this is all about the how you can manage the width and height of a text field now change this container to size box okay and then the same thing we will do here for the password so just click here wrap with container and the same properties which is height and width we will apply here so now if we check out it looks like this as you can see now between the email and password let's add some space let's add 24 next thing that we will do is after the password field we will basically add a button a login button as well as a don't have an account sign up here text button as well so for that purpose we will start adding here the button let me add here a comment login button the width and height we want for it the same so we can say with height the we want to add some decoration for this button that is a rounded button so instead of size box we will proceed with container as ha container has a property decoration so let's apply some box decoration on it now the color will be and border radius will be border radius dot all and from all side it will be radius dot circular from all side 12 circular then child equal widget we will add click event after the click event the name for this button what we want so we can say child const at the center of this inkwell widget we want to display a text widget on which the text will be login the text style will be 20 color black font wet will be font wet bold now if we check out this is our login button if you want to decrease its height then you can do it from here if I make it 50 then it looks like this also we want to add some space after the password text field so copy this and paste it above the login button and password text field and this will be 30 so this is how our UI looks now now after this button we will have a don't have an account sign up here now button so after the login button we can add some space of size box height 16 and then we can add a row widget first we will add a text widget in which we can write do not have an account or you can say don't have an account don't have an account question mark one space apply some style textile font size 16 color gray add a const modifier here 
and then after this we can add a button using the inkwell widget we can say inkwell you know it has a click event on tap then the name for this will be sign up here or you can say register here or create account here whatever you want to write okay you can just write here register here or create here will be the best okay create here so it will be like don't have an account create here let's g apply some style on it then you will see it so it will be font size 18 color white bold font wet if you see it now and you can see don't have an account create here we want this to be at the center so for that purpose what we can do is as you know that don't have an account and this inkwell create account here button this is inside this row widget so we can apply a property on it which is by name max is man x is alignment dot center now if you check check it will be at the center of the screen now the next thing that we will implement is basically the progress bar or you can say a loading widget that is when the user click on login and when we are authenticating the user email and password with the firebase authentication so we will display a circular progress bar which is also called uh, circular progress indicator so we will display that here so the user will know that okay I have to wait so for that purpose what we need to do is uh, we will create a boolean type variable here first of all you will give it name as show progress bar or you can call it loading bar progress bar okay show progress bar and we give it initial value false so after the after the don't have an account create here which is basically implemented inside this row let me write here comment don't have an account create here button okay after this we will display the progress bar so first of all we will add some space and then we can say show progress bar if that become equals to true if that become equals to true then simply display a circular progress indicator otherwise if show progress bar is false then display nothing but an empty container just like this for this circular progress indicator we will we can give it a color which color we want for the circular progress bar so we can say value color always always stopped animation color and the color will be colors dot let's give it pink color okay so pink color will be with that make sure to add here cost modifier so if the show progress bar is true then display circular progress indicator otherwise display this container so this is all about our login screen user interface